This is Gears 5. The last time I played a Gears of War game was, I believe, Gears of War 3. And, uh, well, I had a lot of fun playing the versus mode in that. I believe I played mostly Capture the Flag and the Executing the Enemy Leader modes. They were really, really fun. And I always used to play as the Locusts because I, I personally feel like their design is really cool to see and they have amazing cloaks. I, li I like the cloaks. I like the cloaks. Anyway, if you'd like to check out this game, there is a link in the description. It comes out on Steam in a few days and uh, I believe you can even play it on Windows 7, which I think is, uh, well, has been unheard of in Gears of War games for quite some time because it has been exclusive to Windows 10 for the most part. So that is very cool. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm literally just playing this because I have a lot of nostalgia for Gears of War in general because I played the original Gears of War when it first came out on the Xbox 360, I believe, which is a very long time ago. So we are going to be playing the campaign today, but I'm just going to touch on a couple of the other modes. In Versus, there are eight different gameplay modes that you can partake in. Standard Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, a variant of Gun Game, Dodgeball, which is pretty cool, actually. You get kills and then you can revive your teammates. Uh, escape Mode is a, a purely co-op mode. It is a purely co-op mode. You take yourself and two friends or, you know, random people into the mode and you have to escape from an enemy hive of some kind and, well... You, you, you get the idea. And then the horde, the horde mode, well, that's just a standard survival, survival horde mode where you survive waves of enemies coming at you. And, uh, well, my name is uh, Toast of Ancients, as you can see, and we're going to be playing a campaign today. So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's do this. I, I have, I've just played a couple of versus, versus mode matches, and that's literally it. I've only played that. So I thought we would just save the campaign for the video and you can play as a wide variety of different characters but you are going to need one player to play as JD. What is really cool I've always found about Gears in general is that you can play with friends. You can always play with friends in the campaigns and I think the original Gears of War was one of the first games that really did co-op campaigns in that way but I'm sure there are other games that did it as well but you know it, it's just one of those things that i remember anyway let us start a shot in the dark previously on gears we used to protect cock settlements now we're about to raid one <laughs> raiding is what outsiders do lieutenant you've been busy Look, our village hasn't had power in weeks. We need this fabricator. I don't care about the goddamn fabricator. You're taking my people. What happened? The short version? The cog is on his way. You promised me you could steal that fabricator without provoking Jin. This has nothing to do with the fabricator. Then what did you do? Jin accused us of taking her people. Yeah, whatever that means. Get the fabricator to the power station and install the inverter. You realize Jin's coming back, right? We need to leave, now. Mom! Hey, listen. You need to hide, and then you need to run. Mom! Look, you know as well as I do that he can help. Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Dad, you should look at this. Shit. Uh, guys? Thought you said you weren't running from a car. Yeah, that wasn't completely accurate. We need to get through that fort to the abandoned Osborne mine on the other side. A car dumped a few thousand locust bodies in there after the war. If your swarms related to the corrupts, we'll find out there. I'll take it, people, and use them. And what if we can't get him back? Then, I guess we're all alone out here. Found where they're coming from. And where those snatchers. 
archers are going. My dad's alive and he's down there. ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Okay, we're almost at Ferris coordinates. Welcome to Azura. time you slept last night got a good eight or nine minutes in nightmares does it get better it gets tolerable Control, we're going 
going in. Control? Really? I have a name. <laughs> control. Breaks are breaks, Bear. I mean, control. And we're already breaking enough of them as it is. What Jin doesn't know won't hurt her. This is my call, all right? If the First Minister doesn't like it, she can yell at me. Which she almost certainly will. Tell us where to go, Control. I'll do my best, but remember, no one's been in that facility for like 25 years. Yeah, that's pretty evident. You're not there to buy a timeshare. You're there to launch an old Hammer of Dawn prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still in tech, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. Just get Dave to a functional control room. He'll handle the launch sequence. Alright, so welcome to Gears 5. That was a pretty intense prologue, I guess you could say, an introduction, because I, of course, do not know anything about Gears of War 4, so it's very nice to get a little bit caught up in the events to what transpired. So let's, uh, let's make our way up here then, shall we? Light. <laughs> Remember, it's a big locust burial site in this island. We're hatched, we're going to be waist deep in swarm. This is one hell of a way to come back to Azura. Yeah, but we get those satellites up, we can fry the swarm. Hey, 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 get back! Oh, shit! What the hell? Um, I need a certain place that's falling apart. Quickly. Bear's plan to launch a satellite from here? It seems a little... half-baked. Well, half-baked plans are kind of Baird's specialty. How Baird even figured out they had a hammer satellite here? My father? Before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, it has plenty of them. Hey, over there. Could be useful. Dave, what am I looking at here? What am I, uh, ah, here we go. I'm looking at this. Ooh, now that's cool. I like that. I need some ammo. Thank you very much. Uh, didn't expect there'd still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off as are alive. Wellness advisory poster. You are worth this. Only you can ensure humanity's future. If you are experiencing anxiety, doubt, or guilt, counselors are available 26 hours a day to speak with you. Alright, so that's a collectible. Nice to know that they have a sense of humor. Or, at the very least, it is kind of ironic now. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Get back! We're coming down! Huh, guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. Oh, there they are. Oh, yes. Can you tell that I'm extremely good as a, uh, as a soldier, shall we say? Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's get ready to stealth kill these guys, yes? All right. Or not. Oh, did, did, I, did no, no, I didn't do it. Okay, I, I thought, I thought maybe, you know, I thought maybe I had, uh, achieved... Somewhat, uh, somewhat a stealthy kill, but no, no, never mind. High ground on the left! Flank up! Come on, bring it! More drones! Shot! Shot! 
definitely one of those times when I really need to concentrate on doing the wonderful perfect reload. It's been such a long time since I've, you know, perfect reloaded, so. Okay, Condor's in the air. Let me know if you need reinforcements. We get it handled for now. Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't ripped them all apart. Hey, I think we can get down this way. Oh, down. Oh, I see. Seems like Dave is going to be opening that up. Or we are going to be opening that up. I would like to get up here because... Oh, wait a minute. I don't even need to get up there because I can just ask Dave to go and get that. There we go. That's a grenade. And we like grenades. Thank you very much. Ooh. Is there anything else around here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate it. Let's just uh, pulse around a little bit, see if there's anything else around here that I'm missing. No, it doesn't seem like it. I wonder where the collectibles are going to be highlighted. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. Okay, these headaches. I'm okay, alright? Let's just find a silo. For the record. You don't seem okay. I'll live. There's too many active hives. Everywhere we go, another burial site's hatched. All the more reason to get the hammer going online. Let's hope Jin sees it that way. Yes, I remember the chainsaw. Thank you. At least I remember that. Got to be a bit careful with my ammunition as well. I feel like I'm using way too much of it at the moment. Is this guy still alive? Yes, he is. Not anymore, though. They're coming out of that nest! Gotta get a frag in that thing! Oh yes, I remember. Don't worry. Don't worry, I remember frag grenades. They are definitely going to help us out with those nests. We found one of the silos, but it's wrecked. Well, there's two more. One of them's still operational. Hope you're right. We ended the war once on this island. When we get this hammer satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. Just got to be careful about scavenging ammo here and there because you never know what you're going to find. And especially you don't want to run out of ammunition when there is a swarm of locusts bearing down in your position. That's going to be not so fun. Go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. Sounds good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Two silos, two paths. You got a better idea? There's also something that I remember from the original Gears of War when uh, when you would be playing co-op with a friend or something along those lines, then you would be able to take separate paths. And I especially remember the lava area can't remember its specific, you know, its specific name or anything like that, but I do remember the lava area having two separate paths and you're going to have to fight enemies individually, and it was very, very cool in my opinion. Ah, uh, there's a retro Lancer here. I guess I'm going to just swap out the Nasher, even though I really love the shotgun, and I'm just going to use two Lancers. Go! Hatch! Jump down! This 
looks like some kind of exhaust tunnel. But is it from a silo? Only one way to find out. That seemed easy. Oh, no, no, there we go. We've got some more. Nothing really to worry about here. Where'd it go? Are there more? Just keep pushing up. That was a bit tense. That was a bit tense. I, I was actually a little bit more, uh, shall we say, unsettled by those enemies than I have been by the previous ones. Because even though those ones have guns and things, these ones, they get right up into your personal space. And, uh, well, that's not exactly pleasant. Okay, so there is actually something here that Dave seems to be able to do. Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave. See? Dave gets it. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes. I really do not want to die by running into one of those metal spikes or whatever, you know, whatever they are. Metal wall sections or something. Under here. And we got company. James, we're above you. I see you. We can provide support from up here if things get airy. Just tell us who to target. All right, so now we can mark enemies, which is really, really cool in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that guy back there. And we're going to mark these guys. Wait a minute. Oh, no, we can only aim, we, we can only aim at one. So I guess we'll just kill that one first. And then we will go over here. I'm going to try and sneak a little bit. Shot. I remember the boom shot. That's like a grenade launcher kind of thing. I don't know whether I really want to take that though. Do I? Do I want to take it? Maybe. I, maybe I'm going to need it actually. So let me just go over here and see if I can. Uh, am I going to swap out this? Yeah, I'm going to swap this out. This is only six explosives. Oh, did I get someone? I don't know. I don't I don't think I got anyone with that. So I'm, I'm just going to swap back to the Lancer. I think that's a perfectly fine weapon. Ooh, more retro Lancer ammo. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but I, I think I prefer the retro Lancer to the regular one. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh, 
Was that it? Let's do Pulse and have a look. Ah, now there are a couple of more enemies over there. And we do have some ammunition. Thankfully this nest already seems to be destroyed, so nothing really to worry about there. And what's this? Some ammunition. A big okay, enemy, if ever I saw one. I have no idea. Try shot guardians? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what's best. Ow. That kind of hurt. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to... Ah, here we go. Oh no, Dave is down. Dave is down. Let's let's try and help Dave. Oh, there we go, there we go. We can deal damage like this. This is critical damage like that. And maybe I can dodge away from this. I need to get Dave back up, to be honest. So let's see if, I can, let's see if we can do that. There we go, there we go. We got our guys. We got our, our reinforcements here. Hopefully that's going to take care of the big guy. Control, that carrier's down. Thanks for the help. DBs, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledge. Well, that was very helpful indeed. I was a bit worried, <laughs> suffice to say. Oh well, never mind. Okay, let's let's move on. Nope, locked. We'll have to find another way to open it. Dave, check that panel. Ooh, yeah, that's really nice. To have a drone that is capable of going through these little areas, even though we could theoretically just jump through here, maybe. I don't know, we've got pretty big suits on. Whoa, Delta. What the hell did Dave do? Got a lot of strange data here. Top secret stuff. Uh, as far as I know, he's opening a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded, there's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh... Only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay. Moko. Ah, access the commander's office. All right. Well, I was just looking around here, poking around without any objective, area. really. Detecting old inferior pod technology. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's just me. something here. Hmm. 
It seems like we found an ammunition. Uh, ammunition? <laughs> no, that's the wrong game. No, we we found a uh, ammunition storage area. Whoa, this is really kind of crazy. Wow, there's a lot of ammunition here. That is for sure. All right, let's find that office. Dave, Bulls. Comments, concerns, please call or write to the Ministry of Settlements. Nah, there's still there's definitely still some enemies. I was just like, oh, we we killed that guy pretty quickly, which was, was quite good, I suppose. And we don't have our backup anymore, which is not very good. Ooh, try shot. So now I can technically pick this up, but I think I'm just gonna stay with what we have because that generally is going to be much easier to find ammunition for. And I don't really want to run out of ammunition halfway through the mission if we only have one weapon to use. I definitely need to get into cover, yes. Number one rule in Gears of War, please get into cover, otherwise you're gonna get shot. Frag out! Neutralized. Ah, there, done. Now let's find that office. What does a facility commander's office even look like? I don't know. Take a big door, nameplate, maybe commander written on it. Del, commander's office is through here. This door is locked. Well, we could smash the glass, but I don't think that's going to happen. Ah, it seems like I'm going to need to tell Dave to go through there. See where it goes. So, Baird once lost data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> Nice one, Dave. Ooh, technical plans for construction of the Hammer of Dawn orbital beam weapon. In the past, this weapon decided the fate of both nations and species alike. Yeah, I remember using this in the original game. Commander's office. Let's look around. Safe. Good place for secret data. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, you know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. Yes, indeed, we are on our way, but I am going to be ending this episode off here. If you want to check out Gears 5, there is a link in the description. Once again, this video is not sponsored, and I will see you next time.